Welcome to Foxvote. We will talk you through the setup of your questions in your first preview questionnaire. First, you have to create an account, confirm your email address, and then you can log into the designer. There is always an, a first example event, um, but also let's first check the My Account page where you can find some information about your account. This is the paying customer version or the licensed version for educational users. Everything you see here uh, is also available in the free version. The PIN code uh, to be shared to your audience uh, is, is also uh, available there, but also in a preview mode. Preview mode is for testing, and you can retest on your smartphone or your uh, browser. The live mode is for the full day of your uh, current event. Now, this is a warning, you're in preview mode. On the live day, you can use a green button live mode. Let's get some data, and we are now logging in in one of the browsers. You can download the app or test on live.foxphone.com. And then the, make sure you start your first question. You can do that with the letter S on the keyboard, but also by pressing the S. Now, you see all the, the audiences in preview mode get all their answers pushed to their devices. Could be iOS, could be Android, but browser is the most simple version. Now, we have our first answer, and because of the auto timer, after five, 15 seconds, you can see the results coming in. Now, with one test device and one audience, uh, it doesn't look really uh, good for testing. So I opened four other, three other devices. I reopened the question that's possible in preview mode. I can still reconnect and re-vote with this one, but I go to another uh, set of devices, and here are four extra answers coming in, three answers. So far, this is the uh, first question, and we have at this moment only uh, one question. So let's add some more questions. We can add single questions, multiple choice, ranking questions, um, word cloud questions. The way to add uh, a new question is just hitting the uh, black button add a new question, and we advise always to start with your uh, audience on the new event with a fun question. It could be, what day is it, or uh, what is the, where are you from? Because on an event, and when the people are not used with the, this kind of voting system, they are asking, what's the Wi-Fi code on your venue location? What is the uh, login? So always start with uh, a, a kind of a fun question. And then you don't miss your true data collection on your first important question. Here we created a question, open text, will be rendered as a, in, a, in a word cloud. We don't uh, f go to the data directly, but then add a third question, just a multiple choice question, where you can have uh, multiple answers uh, coming in. Of course, you can edit your questions, you can sort your question, you can all set some advanced properties, but for now, that's not uh, the case. Here we select the multiple choice option, and we're putting in some uh, test countries. We set the color, okay, Canada and Maple Leaf, kind of red. Let's go to uh, the Netherlands, set some orange. Foxfoot is coming from Europe and the Netherlands, so that's why we have the orange national color. And have some other. A country just as an example as you see the latest color co will be copied so that could be handy if you use it and there's some slight advanced feature uh, now because if you haven't visited these countries we also need uh, none of these countries and because the uh, you can't select USA or Canada and none of these so that's why we have an exclusive, and it renders now as a radio button. You can also, without previewing it, seeing how it behaves, by selecting those uh, features already, and you see, oh, this is why it's doing that. So you can't have, this is a kind of mutual, mutual exclusive. Here you can see what type of information will be used for the user, and here you can also see the behavior of the uh, input possibilities for the users. Now, let's fire up those uh, questions again in uh, live or in preview mode. Oh, we're... And get some more data. It goes always to the first uh, question from there, but here you have the navigator. You can use the arrow buttons or the, the quick 
drop down uh, possibilities. There are also uh, options uh, in the top right corner where you can set things to full screen or hide some elements on the screen. But let's get some question in. Let's navigate to the second question. This is the open text, open text box. And here you see the users in the audience receive the open text answer. So I'm from the Netherlands. Let's vote. And we will see uh, at least one answer coming in. But also I will go to uh, another devices to add some more users. One user from Netherlands, one from Canada. But I have two additional accounts. So let's try to add more data to the users. And then you will see that with four users and a duplicate, the size of the most answered question is added to the word cloud in a bigger uh, font. So the four users, two of them are from the Netherlands. You can also see the top 10 of the frequency of the most used words. And because of the or a or all kind of short non-vowels uh, are removed from the, the word cloud. Could be handy. If you refresh the data or letter R on the keyboard, you can see the word cloud is rendered on different uh, locations or sizes. Depends on how you want or want to see it. This user in preview mode can also uh, re or add some additional data. Of course, in live mode, each user can only vote once per question. Again, and from are not uh, the, the words that we were looking for. So now Spain gets even bigger. But the again from Spain, uh, the, those kind of words are filtered out. Also, strange words or dirty words are uh, scanned per language. Now, a new uh, special question. Question three. What countries have you visited? Here you also see the checkbox and the exclusive radio button. We're adding some other data in, and the four users will generate those kind of information. Of course, the person from Spain didn't uh, enter uh, the correct country because that was the fifth uh, data user. Now, those are the, the, the main questions. You don't see the voting uh, data there because they are not yet voted in live mode. Of course, you can test your uh, live uh, buttons. They are empty. Only use your live data when you're true audience. Okay, thanks for watching. Check out the other videos for more advanced functions. Bye.